Open your Bibles once again with me to Romans chapter 2. Romans chapter 2 verse 4. He said Romans chapter 2 verse 4. Let's start right there. And our key verse that we've been talking about for the last several weeks. He says, do you despise the riches of his goodness, his forbearance and his long suffering, not knowing that it is the goodness of God that leads you to repentance. And what God is saying here in Romans chapter two, verse four, is that, man, people that don't like God, people that don't love God, people that despise God and Christianity are people who have not been introduced yet to the goodness of God. You see, when somebody doesn't know how good God is, then there's nothing to love. But when you know how good God is, what's not to love about him? He's so good and he's saying people despise his goodness until they discover his goodness. People despise God until they discover the goodness of God. And so we want to introduce to this world the goodness of God. And in order for us to show this world how good God is, we ourselves as believers need to know how good God is. And as simple as it may seem, as as basic as it may appear, this is the most fundamental and most important truth that we can ever learn about Christianity and about God, that God is good, that God's love and his goodness are inseparable. He never shows love without demonstrating his goodness in some way. God doesn't love with word only. God doesn't love with feeling only. God loves with action.